Welcome back to another Trailby tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the reports uh, feature or function in Trailby. It's a really good tool. It kind of, it's kind of what sets Trailby apart from using just a regular word processor or text uh, editor. Um, because it's nice, sure, to be able to have this automatic indentation and keep track of characters and what different line elements are. But the reports is just really, really nice. Uh, what it lets us do is create a report. So if we click on the top, we have a script report, location report, scene report, character report, or dialogue chart. And if we come over here to the left-hand side uh, under the script reports and click this icon, we see it brings up the exact same options. So I'm just going to generate a script report here. And that just... Uh, does like a, an overall global report of our entire script, every page, every line. It breaks it down and says, your total script is 34 lines long. Of those 34 lines, three of them are talking about are the, the titles of the scenes. Uh, four of them are actions. 13 of them are characters. 13 of them are dialogue. And then of that, thir that 13 equates to 38%. The scenes is 8%. So you can quickly see, okay, this is what this dialogue consists of. We didn't do any shots. Um, we did a teeny tiny bit of parenthetical. Um, and then it just gives some information like speaking characters. There's a total of four speaking characters in this script. So just some good overall global information. If we go to reports and do a location report, actually for our case, scene report might be more accurate because we haven't separated out locations and scenes. But it'll say, what kind of information do you want to include? All we can choose now is speakers, so we'll say OK. And we'll zoom in here and see. So this says, all right, you've got three different scenes, and here's what's happening in those scenes. At the cafe, the only people are Bill and Tom. Bill has three lines. Tom has two lines. Uh, at the football game, there's these different characters, Bill, Tom, Th uh, Tom, Bill, Thor, and Tim. And Tom has two lines. The rest of them only have one. There's 12 lines total in the at the football game. Um, and then... At the New York subway, there's seven lines total. And we can see there's a, a lot more action happening in the cafe because 16% of the lines are action lines, not speaking lines or dialogue lines. And at the New York subway, there's only 14% action. So it's a lot more dialogue and a lot less action. So this kind of information is really, really good if you were actually producing this. Maybe it's a play, maybe it's a, a movie, and you're actually uh, producing this. It helps you know if you're shooting a certain scene, who needs to be there? And how, how long do they need to be there? Is someone talking a lot longer? Do, do they, does there need to be a lot of action going on? So you can, it just helps you find out more information about uh, your script, which is really great. What else do we have here? Reports, character report. Di so this dialogue chart has a lot more things we can bring in. And it'll just kind of, we can scroll down and see here. So this is sorted by the, uh, ours isn't going to be super detailed here, but we can see sort by name, sort by number of lines spoken. Sort by the first appearance, so we can see like who appears first here. So we've got uh, Bill is really th kind of thicker, and then Thor is like really thinner. And so, anyway, I don't uh, know exactly how to use that one a whole lot. <laughs> but if we go to um, character report, can be kind of nice. So we can pull a character report for just Bill. Maybe we're trying to hire an actor for Bill, and we're like, all right, Bill, check it out. We're just going to pull a report on just you. So just so you know, when you get this job, we, we expect you to be in three scenes, the cafe, the football game, and the New York subway. And you're going to have a total of 13 words that you're going to be speaking. And, you know, your average speech is going to be about three words long. <laughs> you know, so you can tell Bill's not really, we're not going to pay Bill very much. He's not contributing a whole lot to our scene, potentially. But, and he's basically 38% of, our, of, of, uh, of all the speeches in the whole script. Is that what that means? Anyway, just really good information you can see here. And so uh, hopefully you found that informative. Go ahead and uh, play around with pulling different reports. Actually, what we should do is bring in, maybe I'll, I'll try and import in a script that we can, uh, yeah, in the next video we'll play with importing existing real scripts. And that's where it's really fun. We can use an, a real video and we can do some analysis on that script and kind of find out. Uh, and we can learn from that as well. So go ahead and uh, leave your questions in the comments below if you have any. Don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button and go ahead and like if you found this video informative. And I look forward to seeing you in future tutorials.